Good evening, Columbus family. Mr. Steve O'Brien here. I was a Columbus graduate in 1972, and in 1970, I took a Florida history class with Dr. Burris, who's still on the staff. I've been at Columbus for 40 years. I have degrees in social studies education, anthropology, and sociology, but my real love is Florida. You may know me, I'm a member of the St. Richard Parish in Pinecrest, actually it's uh, Palmetto Bay, and I was part of the, uh, the Sunrise Services at the Daring Estate. I have a lot of passions, and kayaking is one of them, and we're, I'm a member and founder of the Castaways Against Cancer, who have paddled between Miami and Key West for the last 20 years, raising over $1 million in research for cancer. But let's get on with the story of Florida. So we designed a class, and it is one of the only classes, only high schools in South Florida that teaches Florida history, that is a survey class that goes for one semester, college prep, open to both juniors and seniors as an elective. It is very gauge, engaging and informative, and our lectures don't cover just history. In the age of STEM, we try to go cross-curriculum. We cover geology, hydrology, archaeology, urbanology, politics, local history, and it is a really, really fun class to teach. Now, basically, what we try to do is that we try to have an examination uh, every seven days to eight days on the material that's presented, mostly through Google Slides, outside readings, historical documentations, group projects, and occasionally a, a guest speaker. Quizzes usually happen once or twice a week. The ones that on the outside readings are in the calendar, but I do reserve the right to pop a few quizzes during lectures just to see how everybody's doing. Now, Florida history is a fun, fun thing to teach because when you think about it, a hundred years ago, Florida was one of the most desolated states in the Union. And now, we are third in population. Florida is dynamic. It's changing all the time. We are no longer a sleepy little southern town. We are now, in South Florida, the gateway to Latin America and a banking industrial hub. So it is interesting to note that my personal philosophy is that by teaching students to be well-informed about their state, they'll be good, become good Floridians and good citizens. One of the books I like to use is this book written by a local writer, Les Stanford, called The Last Train to Paradise. It is about the railroad tycoon Henry Flagler, who was John D. Rockefeller's partner in Standard Oil, and it's also about the Labor Day hurricane of 1935, the worst hurricane ever. It is a fantastic read. Teaching Florida history is a lot of fun for me, and I'm very, very happy that your son signed up for it. I believe it's a user-friendly class, and I have a policy of trying to make it, shall we say, where if you have any problems at all, we can solve it. Perhaps you have some issues with COVID-19 or you're having some family issues, don't worry. I allow makeups, I'll re-teach material, I'm here to help your son out. So we're all in this together and explorers are a good team. If you ever need to get a hold of me, I have a very, very strict policy that if you call me or write me, I'll return the phone call or email within 24 hours, and that as your son's teacher, you can talk to me about any issue that you want to. It doesn't have to be academic. It can be about his well-being or just concerns you have about his, day, his daily activities. So we are here, and we are a team, and I love Columbus High School, and I'm so happy that your son has signed up to join me in the Florida adventure.